When it comes to my desk setup, I like to experiment. I'm always testing new keyboards and new desk gadgets, but sometimes I discover something new. This is a seven inch widescreen display, or what I like to call a mini monitor. And it's the latest experiment I've added to my desk. Just like any monitor, it connects to your computer and can display anything you want, except it's much, much smaller. It's also a touchscreen, which means I can use my fingers to interact with windows or programs I have open on this little monitor. Oh, and by the way, this thing was pretty cheap. But before you buy one of these for your own setup, there are a few things you need to know. Let's get into it. So what exactly are we looking at here? Well, let's start with the hardware. Remember when I said this thing was cheap? Well, there's a reason for that. And that's because this monitor was originally designed to be used with a Raspberry Pi. And if you're unfamiliar, the Pi is basically a DIY computer kit. These kits usually don't come with any sort of display. And some Raspberry Pi projects, like this sweet Raspberry Pi based Game Boy, require a small screen. And so monitors like this are sold as an accessory for these Raspberry Pi projects. And as I've recently discovered, many of these small monitors have regular sized HDMI ports on them. So you can connect them to any device you want, which is exactly what I've done here. I've connected this mini monitor to my desktop computer and it's running at a resolution of 1280 by 400, which may sound low, but remember, this thing is seven inches wide. And in my experience, the display looks sharp and colorful. Now that we've got the basics, how exactly does one use a monitor this small? Well, as I said before, this is very much an experiment in process, but I'll show you what I've discovered so far. First, the mini monitor is great for monitoring stuff, like monitoring the performance of your computer or watching your internet speed and managing downloads. Basically, a tiny display like this is great for keeping an eye on things that matter, but aren't as important as what's going on on your main monitor. Another excellent use case for the mini monitor is to use the touchscreen to create shortcuts, making this device, you guessed it, a DIY macro pad. Here you can see I'm using Photoshop and down below on the mini monitor, I have a tool which generates colors and gradients for me. Normally, I don't keep tools like this up on my main screen as they take up a ton of space and cause clutter. But on the mini monitor, this gradient and color tool is out of the way and it becomes a tool that I actually want to interact with. Finally, I wanna show you my personal favorite use case for this mini monitor. And that is something I like to call digital rituals. You see, everyone stays organized in their own way. Some people keep a journal and others write to-do lists. However, I struggle with organization. I like using to-do list apps on my phone, but when I pick up the phone to check the list, I'm often distracted by something else more interesting on my phone. This is where the mini monitor comes in. Every day when I begin working at my desk, I'll open my to-do list. And right now my preferred software is called Taskboard. If you've ever used Google Tasks, it's essentially that, but with a much better interface. After reviewing my tasks for the day on my big screen, I'll move the to-do list down to the mini monitor, where it stays for most of the day. That way my list is always in front of me, but it's not taking up any space on my primary display. Some days I perform this ritual with my calendar. I'll take a look at the week or the month on my main display and then zoom in to a single day and slide the calendar down to my mini monitor. That way I have the day's events visible at all times. Now, is a mini monitor required to use Taskboard or Google Calendar? No. But as someone who struggles to stay organized, I believe the mini monitor is an excellent tool for helping me establish that daily ritual of productivity. And while these use cases have fit nicely into my workflow, there are of course an endless amount of ways you could use a mini monitor on your desk setup. You could use this display as your dedicated media controller, or you could use the monitor to keep an eye on Discord or other chat platforms. In the end, it's all about identifying use cases that benefit from the monitor being so close to your keyboard, keeping the information right at your fingertips. So now you know what this device is and how I use it at my desk, but what about you? Is this device right for your setup? Honestly, I'm not sure. Of all the devices I've tested and desk setup experiments I've performed on this channel, the mini monitor is the first experiment where I expect to see a divided reaction in the comments below this video. Either you will see how a small touchscreen like this could be useful on your desk, 
or this device will seem completely pointless. And that's okay. Everyone has their own workflow, and there's no one desk setup that works for everyone. But if you are interested in picking up a monitor like this, let me give you a little bit of advice. As you may have noticed, this device is a bit bare bones, and you would be right. This mini monitor has exposed electronics on the back of the device. And that is true of most of these small monitors designed for the Raspberry Pi. Remember, these are DIY products and not a consumer monitor from LG or Samsung. And the exposed electronics mean that any liquid spills or big drops could destroy this thing. Fun fact, I chose this specific model because it was supposed to come with a case and a kickstand, which would have been perfect for this project. But as you can see, the case did not arrive. And so I had to come up with my own solution. I ended up using this small plastic stand, which was originally designed for the Wii U gamepad, which means that this small plastic stand here has outlived the usefulness of Nintendo's last console. It's a DIY solution for a DIY product, I suppose, but it was frustrating. So I'll put the link in the description to this exact monitor if you're interested, but there's nothing special about this specific monitor. I highly recommend you shop around and find a mini monitor that meets your specific needs. The only other downside I feel like I need to address is the giant cable in the room. Finding an elegant way to run an HDMI cable across the middle of your desk isn't easy. This cable tube is the best I could come up with, but I'm sure I could find a cleaner way to do it in the future. If you can look past the rough edges and the chunky cables, a mini monitor like this may be a great addition to your setup. Just be prepared to experiment and to learn as you go, and be careful not to spill any coffee nearby. Thank you all so much for watching, and welcome back to Work From Hype. If you like the idea of the mini monitor but want something with less wires and setup, you should check out this video where I take an old iPad and create a digital sticky note board for my desk. My name is Nick Moe, I hope you have a good day, and I will catch you all in the next one.